Hello everyone and welcome back to the Barrow White Plays Nimby Rails. We're still working on German rails and today we're going to be in part four of the Rhineland Falls RE1 route, which should be uh, kind of showing right now. There it is, Mannheim to Koblenz. And I think we're going to end up in Koblenz this time uh, in pretty short order, starting in here in the town of Bully, Bully, Bully. Bulla is an interesting town. If you saw when we came into it, we went through a tunnel and then across the bridge to get into nee, the town. No, not nee, the night nee. you say nee. What was that? <laughs> nee. I love the way German towns sound like other things sometimes. It's kind of interesting. But that was Neef. Now we have another tunnel and another bridge. And then we get into Adiger Ella. Never been to this town, I don't think. They may have driven through it. But I'm sure it's a lovely little village. So another long tunnel. And, you know, if you look at the overall map, and maybe I'll... Uh, do a um, an overall of it eventually. Well, of course I will. And when I do, when I do the overall uh, route and show the train going up and down it, it's uh, amazing how windy this river is. How winding. But if you go there, it's quite amazing. I think what they're showing here is the the light green areas with the even lighter green squares are vineyards. And that may be the extent of the vineyards, but I feel like they go even higher and everywhere else than what they show on this map. There are so many grapes growing on the sun facing sides of these valleys. An interesting thing you see along the Mosul River is, uh, like the last town we just saw, it was Trice hyphenated Carden. And usually that means that one of those towns is on one side of the river and another of those towns is on the other side of the river. But somehow they've kind of incorporated together. So that was Trice Carden. Uh, a while back, though, there wasn't a train stop. There, there is a train stop, but we didn't go there on this route. But there was a town called Traben Traba. And uh, I actually lived there for a couple of years, a long time ago, in the 80s. With Trab and Trabach, it's, it's the same thing. Two towns on either side of the river uh, that have incorporated together to, to form one town. Or at least one municipality. I don't know, that might be the wrong word. I'm sure it is. But you get what I'm saying. Now I talked about uh, Umlaut O's before. In that last town, L Umlaut O F. I would pronounce Lerf. Using that trick of E R for Umlaut O. But it's still just a little off. So if anyone has any uh, any tips on umlaut o umlaut u, um, please share them. Always so difficult for Americans to speak. I suspect it would be difficult for any language. There's another one of these hyphenated towns. Well, Gondorf calls it for aid. Where was Gondorf when the Westfold fell? The 
if I'm gonna do voiceovers and I'm gonna add stupid little mini videos like I did a couple of times in this one already, I really need to keep track of where they are so I don't talk over them. <laughs> I think I've talked over both of those. But I will correct that. Now this isn't hyphenated, so I suspect that this is ghouls. Ghouls? Ghouls? Ghouls. Umlaut ooh, I've always pronounced with E W like ooh. Uh, but Ghouls is um, a suburb of Koblenz. Or it's so close to Koblenz that it's just traditionally associated with Koblenz. Same thing with this town, though it looked like it was hyphenated, but. I don't know what the convention there is. So now we're getting to the city of Koblenz. <clears throat> and Koblenz, pardon me. And the Koblenz is where the Mosel and the Rhine rivers come together. A very important intersection. But because we are in town, the stations are gonna get more elaborate, with a lot more rails, and it's gonna be a lot more fiddly work to, to get them to function correctly. And here we're finally to the main train station, the Hauptbahnhof. And as I was saying, it's going to be pretty complicated. It'll have several platforms. Oh, okay, finally gonna test some, some routes out. Look at that big long route all the way from Mannheim on the, on the bottom right uh, up to Koblenz there in the middle above. We can't see it yet, but it, it'll be on there in just a second. that it's sitting there waiting because there's only one train on the tracks so far but right now it, as you can see it would take several hours for the train to get from one end of the rail to the other so this is where I'm going to buy some more trains and uh, those timing gaps between them should get a little bit more consistent they will get more consistent for sure Oh, I have a collision. Yes, this is where the work begins. I've got to be more careful when I'm building. I've been throwing down platforms and rails and intersections and going back and correcting afterwards. But really, I should be building them correctly to begin with so I don't have all this mess in the end because I'm probably going to end up having to, uh, you know, cut out a lot of the... I don't know, the work 
of searching for uh, mistakes that I've made. Just out of pure laziness or it wasn't necessarily laziness. I think sometimes it's just I just get in the flow and I just want to throw down tracks. But I pay the price later. But what I always do is I build a depot at each end of a major route like this or close to the end. And then I'll make half the trains start at, the, at one end and end their days at the depot close to that end. And the other half of the trains will start, well, you know, the opposite. They'll start at the opposite end and they'll go to a different depot. And it's quite easy to do that in the, uh, the train cloning screen. And it's kind of cool to see um, your different trains kind of go to bed for the night and then come back out in the morning. Now it's 2.21 in the morning. This is where to just jump back and forth, 3.21, 2.21. I think I'm playing with some overlapping videos here. But it's 3.21 in the morning. I've got it paused so I can continue to build. I'm probably going to throw down a depot here. I should really look it up to see if it's properly pronounced depot or depot. I think it's one of those words that I've said both ways. And I don't even know which way is really correct. While we're watching this, let me look it up. Both. Both are correct. Depot or depot. Interesting. I'll keep saying depot. We are getting close to having this rail, this route, RE1 in the Rhineland Falls area, Mannheim to Koblenz. We're almost to the point where it's done and functioning correctly. Exciting. Just this last bit to maybe a minute or so of building and testing, and uh, we will have a functioning route. Now, of course, there's a lot of other trains that go up and down this route. I just built RE1, but many tracks, many trains run up and down this on a, on a daily basis. corrections here and there and I will have it functioning. Oh, look at that. A lot of trains out there. So going really fast. Let me see. Me. It's afternoon and I think we finally have it. I'll fast forward to the next day and the trains that have come out of the depots at either end. There they are. And now you'll see that the, the trains will all come out of the depots but they'll wait so that there's a gap. Between each train. So it's usually that you want a gap of like an hour or close to an hour. Because that's typically what, uh, if I look at the timetables that I see in a lot of these routes. So that's it for this episode. 
I really appreciate you watching. I hope you'll, you know, hit, hit a like at least and to consider subscribing we've done 60 kilometers and 16 stations this episode which was pretty good but a total of 342 kilometers and 79 stations along this route so that was pretty cool so again thank you for uh, hanging out in the barrel i'm gonna sign off now and we'll see you next time building a new route bye